the man and his fish. Woo! Yeah, buddy. This time I'm solo and we're just gonna try to catch some more fish. I mean last time I was here I caught those two PB trout. Felt awesome and that's what drove me back here today. I really, I didn't feel like driving, I didn't feel like coming really, but those big fish brought me back. So that's the beauty of fly fishing, that's what's so fun about it. Thanks for joining guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Just click that button down below this video, right about here, maybe it's here. We're going for 10K and uh, just keep climbing. Get a little test video in this morning. See if we got the audio working. Last time I was out here with those big fish, as you guys know, if you've seen the video, I did not have audio. And it was pretty disappointing because when you catch that big fish, you have <laughs> all those exciting moments of reeling it in and talking to your buddy and saying, oh, don't break them off. And you know, just kind of getting pumped up for potentially catching that fish. So, very, very interesting time that we had. Let's see if we can get started early this morning. My rig is literally a double mare's mysa shrimp pattern that I tied up. So I've got a size 18 on the top and a size 22, or no, rather, yeah, size 22. So I have an 18 on the top and a size 22 on the bottom. And that's what I'm fishing with here try to catch these fish. Um, I've got about 12 inches between my bottom fly and my top fly. And then I have maybe a two and a half or a three foot lead from the indicator to the weight. And I'm just using a size six, I believe. Oh, almost had one there. Just using a size six split shot. Um, a Dinsmore weight is what I use, something that's not too metallic. So, that is my rig right now. I've been trying that Euro nymphing rig. I don't love it for early morning. It's a little hard to see. So right now I'm just using the regular indicator rig. I don't think the fish really mind it this early either. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can pick off a fish here in fairly short order. So far this morning, fishing has been dead slow. I've been using this double mysis rig. Something tells me though that midges might be the key early morning here. Um, I usually just wait for the fish to wake up. I may change out. We'll see. I also might just go try to sight fish a little bit. I was uh, kind of peering in the water here. Usually there's, I don't know, 10, 15 visible fish. And I've seen one. All right, guys. So here's what happened. I was getting ready to pack up and move out of the spot. And as soon as I was reeling up, a fish took one of my mysis, snapped me off. So I just finished retying and now i'm back in the run so let's see what happens here caught him a little bit downstream there we go right there nice <laughs> first cast back in with the mysis see a lot of fish in there now this guy's pretty he's got some good color he ain't too big. There we go. Oh yeah. Is that a good old brown? Yeah, that's a brownie. All right. Wow. Holy crap. That is one of the best brown trout I have caught in here ever. Pretty cool. Okay. Which one did he take? The top. There's that fish. Look at him. Nice and healthy, big old brown trout. There we go. I like that. That's a good way to start the day. You like those mice? Oh, you do. See you later, dude. Few seconds later, peeps, and we are back on. Not too big. We just had a really good run in them. Second fish, almost back to back, right there. There we go. 
We're keeping it rocking right now. Nice little cut bow. Loving it right now, having a blast. Oh yeah, see you later, dude. Here we go again. Trying to set the hook as quick as possible. It's another little guy. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. We are just keeping it consistent here on the blue. Another fish. Mice of shrimp. Gotta love it. Third fish to the net of the day. And if I can grab him, we're gonna let him go. Gonna be a song and dance here now. I don't want to cross you. Huh. Oh, can I save it? I'm here, buddy. No, 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 no. He's gonna go. Oh, he's going. All right, I'm gonna go over to you. Thank you. Uh, mice is shrimp. I'll show you in a second. Come on, man. I'm so surprised I haven't snapped this fish off already. Wow. I thought for sure he was toast. Just caught another trout. This time a little bit bigger. Same mice is shrimp, a little faster riffle. I dropped my microphone somewhere in the water and had to pick it out. So. It's a little wet, so the GoPro audio is gonna be pretty terrible once again. But let's take a look at this butte. There he is. Nice, healthy cut bow trout feeding on that mice of shrimp. Let's get him back. Little underwater release action. Sweet. Let's go, baby. Let's get a nice little video release of this guy going, huh? All right, guys, we're gonna try something a little bit different. Uh, I got this little paint strainer from Home Depot and it was like two bucks. And this thing stretches and goes around your net then you can have your buddy just upstream kick some rocks and then hopefully you'll catch whatever the fish are eating. So we're thinking the mice of shrimp might be a little bit too big right now. We might need to downsize. So we're going to see what's going on and we'll see what we catch in the net. And then, yeah, just kick the rocks up, stir it up good. No. Bunch of gunk. Literally. I don't see, do you see anything moving in that uh -huh. entire thing? Nope. Weird. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, maybe right there. Yep. Black. Maybe throwing some zebras. It's a little mid, tiny, tiny. Yep. Yep, see so move. All right. So now we've got an idea. We're gonna maybe tie on some smaller midges and see if those are gonna work. So we're having a hard time keeping the hot streak alive. Caught four fish so far, but it's been really slow after that. So we've had a little bit of trouble figuring out what these fish are eating today. It's been a little bit slow. They may just be not eating so much, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and pump this guy and see if we can figure out 
what he was chowing on. So we're just gonna fill this bubble up with the water. Once it's full, we're gonna take the tube. We're gonna go down his throat and squeeze the bubble and then suck what we can in and that'll tell us exactly what he's eating. Now we've got the contents of his stomach right here and you can see one right there is a midge there's the rest of the stuff he's been chowing on looks like everything he ate today were little midges all right so right here 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 there's the end of a stone fly looks like he's been eating a ton of midges though Thanks for checking out the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, go ahead and click this free subscribe button right here. You can also check out our next video over there or our most recent uploads just above my head. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time on CO Fish Bro.